What's up, y'all? I got a film of the feast, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into uh, a Pop the Balloon episode. I just seen her upload. I, I, we can't react in a whole hour, and this is like an hour and a half, but um, uh, we're going to do one full one. So let's get into it. Yeah, our next single lady. woo Single lady! Yeah! Oh, my gosh! She's single! Hello, welcome in. What's Damn. your name? Hi, I'm... Yo, I did that because she don't have no music, no nothing. Just nothing. Kiana? Kiana, how old hey, are Kiana, you? Hey, Kiana, girl! I'm 29. 29, and what do you do? Um, I'm a director of events and logistics. Okay. Um, I host events all over the valley, but I'm, my, I'm mainly known for... A, a tarot reader. I'm the best oh. tarot reader, Phoenix. Oh! And dang, sorry. I'm the best tarot reader, Phoenix. I also um, I am the executive of the Hype Network, and I host um, classes, aerobics and step classes with my girl Bianca, and I model and many many others. Okay, very cool. So you do she a lot. She do a lot. Yeah. Of <laughs> oh! And now, uh, what are some things you look for in a man? Um, honesty, trust. Um, I, I feel like hustler has such like a bad connotation, but the, so the first guy popped it aggressively. He was like, you ain't about to read my shit. My girl, that, you? you know, can keep my me. exact sentiment. You are not reading me. Hello. I hate when people be like, yeah, man, you know, I'm a tarot reader. So you could let me read. You're not reading shit. OK, I let fate. I deal with my fate. You ain't about to tell me nothing. <laughs> going uh, to uh, like i really want to be able I to hear like shit. be inspired <laughs> and so that's very important to me okay now what are some of your deal breakers my deal breakers are kids i don't want any kids damn damn um i would also say probably i mean i'm a very understanding person but for the most part like kids are one thing mm. and then um if you've ever cheated in a relationship, that's probably like another deal breaker for me. So, why are you on the show? What is going on? <laughs> okay, all right. So we did get um, a few pop balloons. Let's head on over to these guys. See why they ended up popping. All right. Let's start with your name and age. Um, my name is Josh. Um, Thirty-nine years old. And Josh, why did you end up popping your balloon? So I popped my balloon because you said you were a tarot reader. Um, yeah, I'm really big on energies, and I think that me being a Christian, um, it kind of goes against my values and whatnot. Um, so I feel like within that, I'm, I'm going to have to pass. I completely respect that. I, I think it's important really that I can be who I am and do what I do with my career. So thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> and now, is uh, Josh someone that is your type? Absolutely. I think that you're very great looking, and um, I, I love your style, and you seem very sweet. Cap. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Let's go to our next guy over here. We can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Bassie. Um, <laughs> I'm 36. And Bassie, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, you, I like what you're wearing. You do look really good. Um, I like your energy, but you said you don't want guys with kids, so I do have two. So, yeah. Thank That's you for your work. honesty. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and apart from Damn. having kids, is he someone that is your type, though? Yeah. Um, Cap. I, like I said, I would like to get to know you more, but um, style-wise, it's, you know, for the first date, probably not necessarily, but I still feel like you're really sweet and... Trash. It's, it's really Look at them personal. shoes. So. Never put those shoes on. What, what made you get those shoes? Then what made you put them shoes on with that shirt? I am pissed at the whole put together. Okay. So you first of all, it's you know the hat, the shirt. I hate the shirt. Okay, but whatever. You got the audacity. Where it go? To what? So you hold on. It's, it's really nothing. To personal. come up here with these team Jordans, nigga, if you bitch, <laughs> man, if you ever come near me with team Jordans, leave. I don't want to ever talk to you. Why are we talking? Okay. If some of y'all in the chat with team Jordans, get out the chat. You know what I'm saying? It's that bad. <laughs> uh uh. No. So so you prefer me to suit up and all that. To what? So you prefer if I should suit up for the first date? Yeah. I mean. Oh, I don't care about no suit up. But 
get your boot up. Look better. Honestly, kind of, yeah. 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 I'm sorry. I mean, I won't be able to do that on the first day. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Let's go to our next guy. Let's start with your name and age. My name is Paul. I'm 39. Okay. And Paul, why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, she's got a lot going for her. Um, I only work maybe two to three days a week. So while I respect she's doing a lot of great things, she may not have the time. And uh, I like to just spontaneously be able to get up and do stuff. So that's the only issue. But other than that, she's, she's great. Okay, got it. Now, is Paul someone that's your type? No. Um, I, I, I love how honest you were, and I love that you, like, can even thought about that like I appreciate that as far as like style wise and then height probably not I do prefer just like a little taller sure. but you're really sweet and I really appreciate you no problem thank I you don't like her. let's go down over here okay let's start with your name and age uh Johnny 34 I hate and Johnny, you say Johnny? Your balloon. um mainly because of the kid I have a son and he's always going to be my top priority. Um, but the tarot reading, uh, I didn't really mind that because I do believe that that's a form of spirituality and, you know, that's important to me. But um, either way, regardless if it's a religion or just being spiritual, but um, more so the kid, but that did kind of like, kind of put a red flag on it. Like not even a red flag, just an alert. Like, yeah. And he's a nice looking dude, but like, what? I get, I get, I, damn it. I got to see what that's about. But mainly the kid, but you're very beautiful. And Thank you. Uh, leather tattoos as well. <laughs> Thank you so much. All right. And now, is he someone that is your type? No. Um, yes. I, but like I said, the height thing is kind of important to me. Um, we, you know, I am wearing heels and whatnot, but I do wear taller heels sometimes. So, but, and then also the kid situation. But, like, you put your kid first, and that's very important to me. So thank you for being yeah. honest. Thank you. Nice to you meet you. You put your kid first, and that's very important to me. You don't even like kids. She's a liar. Thank you. <laughs> All right, next day over here, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Justin. I'm 34. And specifically, the reason why I popped my balloon is because, um, well, She's definitely a beautiful lady. I like the tattoos, business owner, you know, fully operational and all that stuff, right? Unfortunately, I know her mother and her as well. <laughs> we are more of a homie vibe. Oh, okay. And uh, I'm just proud of everything she's doing, you know, so. Mad respect and good to see you. Yeah, oh my up? gosh. Wow. So, besides that, Say um, hey to my mom. it probably would be a match. I feel like if I had like three inches taller where she, you know what I'm saying? But saying unfortunately, you know, things work out how it work out. So we good homies, you know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. No problem. Let's go to our next guy then. Hey, She's mom. crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm George. I'm 35. And I pop my balloon because I got two kids. That's just the only reason why. You're very beautiful. Thank you, George. Yes, I got two kids. I Thank love you. To death. Thank you. So. Okay. Apart from the kids, is <laughs> Thank George, you, George. someone that you um, Not necessarily, mm -hmm. and it's nothing personal or anything. Mm -hmm. um, I love the style. I love how I hate you that are, shirt, George. And I hate that shirt, George. Okay. Height is really the only thing, but aside respect, from that, respect, respect. I really love how sweet you are. Thank you. George was like, Grandpa, you got, you got something for me? You got something for me, baby. In the closet. Yeah. Very beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So we do have two balloons left on pop. We don't got to go all the way back. They're right here. <laughs> so do you have any questions to ask the guys to kind of help you narrow it down? See, I like your shoes, my boy. Yes. Of your type. Okay, go for it. Uh, what are your zodiac signs? Okay. Let's start over here with your name and age. Uh, my name is Kenneth. I just Virgo. Just had a birthday, 35. Happy birthday. And Gemini. I believe, I'm not too familiar on zodiac signs. I believe July is, means cancer. Cancer! Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Like early July, yeah. Okay, cancer. Happy birthday! Thank you. <laughs> yes. Go down over here. All right, your name and age, and what's your zodiac sign? Uh, my name is Jay, 31, and I'm a Gemini. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just. 
<laughs> just joking. <laughs> I love to do that to me. Nah, he weird as hell. He shouldn't be on here either. Make everyone feel scared because they yeah. are scared of Zodiac. So. <laughs> okay, any other questions for the guys? Um, where, where would you take me on my first date? Um, he shouldn't be on the show. Get this man off of the show. Just joking. <laughs> I love to do that to make everyone feel scared because they yeah. are scared of Zodiac. So. <laughs> okay, any other questions for the guys? Um, where, where would you take me on my first date? Look at his eyes. Um, um, I would take you, do you like seafood? I love seafood. I would take you somewhere at seafood, most likely. Oh yeah. my God. Okay. Huh? That's it? Nigga couldn't even say, you like juicy crab? <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm saying? I be, I get the deluxe, the number three. Uh, with the snow crab, you know what I'm saying? I get the motherfucking ox, not ox I get the snow crab. I get me a little lobster tail, and then, you know what I'm saying? I had me a little muscle or something. Yes, I said muscle, okay? Um, what you, 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 you like it extra hot? Yeah, 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 that's my shit. So I got to get it extra hot, you know what I'm saying? But if you don't like it hot, baby, we can get it out. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? Um, you know, and then, you know, if you you like hookah too, shit, you know what I'm saying? They got a hookah spot right at the, the juice crab right on the goddamn head. Yeah, they got, uh, yeah, yeah. So we could do that together. You know what I'm saying? That nigga was like, uh, you like, you like seafood? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I take you to the seafood thing. <laughs> what, nigga? <laughs> Get back here. All right, where are you going to take her on the first date? Um, I would say I'm really interested in vegan food, so giving ah. Tree Cafe. Okay. So I'm not a full vegan, but I think, you know, healthy eating is good for the core and for the body. So, yeah. Okay. Yes. She didn't like that. Guys, she don't like neither one of y'all. Okay, go for it. Um, do you feel like your family has a big influence on who you date and and everything of that sort um i no certain... uh kendra i love these types of videos girl they just too long oh they so long friend so long extent i have two older brothers and i feel like they've definitely set the bar and how they respect their women how they love for their women how they care for their women so to a certain extent yeah i mm -hmm. definitely would agree with that but not enough to like make me make any decisions okay. you know what i mean yeah definitely let's go down here all right what's your question so you seem like a busy lady <laughs> so do you have time to like get to know me um as in like relationship um yeah i can always make time mm -hmm. and as long as that person's flexible with my schedule because i'm really obsessed with my career right now then of course okay. yeah yeah Okay, let's go ahead and have you pop someone's balloon. Can I borrow your? <laughs> Let me hand that over to you. So, based off of what you've seen, what you've heard, whose balloon are you popping? Okay, so why did we end up popping his? Um, I. She did it so hard. I, I eat meat. I'm not <laughs> vegan at all. I love to eat like me. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like he thought he was spitting game with the uh, with the vegan shit, and it was a terrible, terror. I'm not vegan, but I think it's important for the nutrients that you hit the body and the soul when you do that. Nigga, take me to go get some barbecue or something. Stop playing with me. Me, I love food. I'm a foodie. She's so a tarot I, reader. I, I, he she had me eat me. Food. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, why did you have your balloon unpopped for her? Um, first, I'm not. I'm not completely vegan. Okay. Um, I just like you know eating healthier food sometimes. Uh, but I had my balloon unpopped because I was just curious on the Taurus readings, mm. and I wanted to know more about it. So that's really it. Got it. All right, well, let's bring our guy on up here. Let's bring him up, bring him up, bring him up. Wow. <laughs> All right, guys, any final questions before we determine if this is a match? What do you do for work? I work in parks and recreation. That's uh, really cool. Yeah, I work with kids. 
Uh, let's see here. Are you the youngest or the oldest? Um, the second youngest, the third oldest? Okay. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's see here. You think it's he you? will stress me out. He will really stress me out. <laughs> you don't have any questions. You don't have any <laughs> questions. No? Okay, all right. <laughs> so then, is it going to be a yes for you for her? Yeah, it's a yes. Okay. Is it a yes for you for him? Yeah. We girl, what? Not a man. We're gonna have to do another one. I hate this. <laughs> I'll take this and you guys can go right on up. Let's make some noise for them, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single lady. Yeah. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? My name is Jovene. Jovene, how old are you? 28. 28, and what do you do? I am a assistant community manager, and I'm also working to get my real estate license right now. Okay, all right, and now what are some things you like to do for fun? I like to gather my friends and family together. I like to... Ain't no way, miss. Um, honestly, I like to turn on my music and okay. pour some wine and cook. Um, just hang out at home nice. with my dog. And just sometimes I like to go out, but it just depends on like where we're going. But yeah. All right. And now what are some things you look for in a man? I look for an honest man, a man that has a lot of patience. Mm -hmm. um, one that is, you know, emotionally stable as well. Mm -hmm. um, someone that is on a path to spirituality mm -hmm. with the most high so friend to be I'll, honest missy i don't even think the sex would be good friend look for that okay got it and now what are some of your red flags he ain't got no sex appeal she don't either hell. like that you um infidelity breakers, is a red flag mm -hmm. infidelity um any domestic type of situation so if you're not able to handle a conversation or have a mature conversation. I just don't do loud conversations at all. Mm. Um, that also has to tie in with the emotional maturity as well. So those are like my main red flags. Also someone who's not able to set a boundary for themselves and also respect boundaries as well. So. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. <laughs> She's a Leo Gemini or an Aries or a Taurus. So as you see here, we have no pop balloons. Okay. So what that means, I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. Okay. So for the first round, I am going to have you pop. Hmm, how many balloons should we do? Let's do two balloons. Okay. I'm going to have you pop two balloons just based off of, you know, who doesn't really fall into your type or whatever it may be. So let me hand you. Doctor slash nurse cuz. And then. Uh, uh, what you got for me in the closet? They can, it, just this whole lineup is just. <sighs> this, and you can just go ahead and pop those two, and I'll ask you why you ended up popping. Dang. <laughs> okay. Uh, it ain't hard, friend. Go ahead and get oh. them out the way. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, and one more. And... All right, wow. stay down here. I'm sorry. All right, let's start with your name and age. So, I'm Justin, 34. Okay. And Justin, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Well, she's very well spoken. She seems like a lady who knows what she wants. Um, I'm, you know, I'm approaching 35. I feel like I've done what I need to do as a young man, and I'm stepping into the next level. Mm -hmm. She seemed like she was up there at the next level. Other than that, that's the only reason why I kept it unpopped. Okay, got it. So why did we end up popping his balloon? It is just the height um missing out yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> my god it would just be the height for me i would say um or just my if he say you missing out definitely got a um a central bottle for sure but that don't mean she want to be in public with you with heels on and she looking down at you but my physical type for sure yes yeah. yo but Chrissy, you are very shut handsome. you're well up. dressed though i like i love uh, the shades i appreciate it <laughs> yes yeah. i'm like the guy that you would call on the weekend oh Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's go back over here. Your name and age? Paul, I'm 39. Okay. And Paul, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, just because it's well put together. I kind of saw the height thing coming. I'm 5'10", mm -hmm. but just with heels, not really cutting it, I guess. Well, she didn't even say height yet. Okay. So he... He thinks height is the reason why. Is that why he's not honestly? To be honest, I had to pop a balloon. Honestly, okay. I had to pop a balloon. You guys all look great, so. Cap! 
I just had to pop a balloon. Okay, so, so. he is someone that is your type? Yeah, I would I would definitely give it a try. You Cap! Know? I'm I'm not necessarily always about physical, but I had to pop a balloon. So it's all good. Yeah. Okay. Respect. All right, thank you. All right, I'm gonna have you ask these guys a question just to help you narrow it down. Um, okay. How would you say that you tend to deal with conflict? Yes, Diamond. He 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 definitely was like, listen, call me on Saturday. I promise you, a censure will be at your doorstep. Um. Anytime that there's an issue, are you the type to walk away? Do you need a moment? Do you have to talk right then and there? What would you say? Like, how do you how do you tend to deal with conflict? Okay. Your name and age and the answer to your question. So my name is Josh. I'm 39. Um, how I deal with conflict is basically I'm slow to uh, res uh, to respond. So um, matter of fact, I'm sorry, react. So I'd rather respond, right? So um, that's just how I deal with it. Okay. Um, I'm slow to react, but I'd rather respond. Huh? Good. This yeah. is the second time he ain't made no sense to me. Well, okay. You want to add more? <laughs> um, what about you? How do you, you know? I like to take time also because I, I know myself. I know that I'm working on myself as well. So um, I definitely am the type of person who likes Miss Mama's like to argue. I'm going to tell you right now. She like to argue. And she don't want you to argue back with her. Like all she keep talking about, when somebody keep talking about conflict, conflict, toxicity, and uh, how do you handle arguments and shit like that, baby? Because she like to argue, guarantee. To take some time, because I know we're going to come back. I'm the type of person that will always come back and talk about it. So, <clears throat> but yeah, if you could just respect what I'm trying to grow into, you know, as long as my person is there where I'm trying to grow and behavior traits that I'm trying to unlearn, that's exactly what I need. Okay. So. If I needed some, some time to gather my thoughts, are you the type to kind of like, you know, you need, you need the answers now, or are you going to give me, if I say I need... Um, you know, some space, is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. If you're able to communicate, I need space because I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to let you know I need some space. I'm not just going to not talk or not say anything. But as long as you're able to let me know, okay, cool, I know we're still good. We can, it's, it's, we're, we're okay. Okay. So. Okay. All right, let's go to our next person here. Your name and age and the answer to your question. Hi, uh, my name is Bassi. I'm 36. Um, I do, I deal with conflict. Yeah. So most of what I usually do is, um, I don't usually get mad. I'm more like a, a fun but I like to joke around a lot. So even it's very hard for me to get mad. So if I if I if I did get mad or whatever, what I usually do for the most part is I just take a, a space, a little break, um, then uh, think about the old thing. Why is it? I mean, why was the reason why we are mad about? So and, and I'll talk to you about it, and, I, and I'll be like, you know what? Um, what did I do wrong? And you just let me know, and we'll move on from there. Okay. You know what? What did I do wrong? You let me know, and we go from there. He definitely give me that is exactly who he is. Or, since he said he liked to joke around a lot, it's given he's an asshole. Then he gonna get to talking in his own accent, and then it's gonna piss me off. Yeah. Thanks. Mm -hmm. All right. Our next guy, your name and age, and how do you deal with conflict? Uh, my name is Kenneth. Um, my age is 35. <laughs> uh, conflict, uh, if it goes hand in hand with like a disagreement, um, I would say um, disagreements should be handled like, you know, it, you know, sh shouldn't be escalated if two people care about each other right. and the relationship is important, it shouldn't go that far, right. you know, so if they value the relationship, it should be talked about. So it'd be de-escalated de de real quickly. Absolutely. So that's what I think. Okay, good. Okay. Name and age and how do you handle conflict? My name, John, Johnny, age 34. Um, I'm growing. I used to break stuff, but I, um, <sighs> so that's what I think. Okay, good. Okay. Name and age, and how do you handle conflict? My name John, Johnny, age 34. Um, I'm growing. I used to break stuff, but... Used to, or you still do? 
For you to say I'm growing and I used to break stuff lets me know you still break stuff. You break stuff. Okay? And you can't be around here acting like you don't break shit. <laughs> All right? And friend here break a foot off in your ass. You need to go ahead and just keep it moving. Look at them arms. Okay? Break one of them foots off in your ass. Just keep on moving, friend. Ooh, shit. I used to break stuff. <laughs> it was like, I used to break stuff. Like, not no more, but I used to. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. I, um, <laughs> you know, as I get older, I learned that the best thing to do, if you can't handle or compose yourself, is to just kind of walk away until you kind of like, you know, can regain and, you know, be in a mature space that you can talk about the situation. But like, um, I'm, I'm still in the process of growing, but- um, He's still breaking shit, I friend. Think, uh, I'm telling you right now. Just walking away from the situation and then mm -hmm. just being like, we can talk about it later. Um, he don't walk right away. Now, I'm just at the agitated, sta at this agitated state. Yeah. Uh -uh. So just like, you know, just knowing yourself and you know. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Our next guy, your name and age and how do you handle conflict? My name is George, I'm 35. I handle conflict by first taking my time. Um, I don't like to overreact, because you know, overreaction is the, is the worst reaction in my book. Cap. But um, I, I like to take my time, take my, um, come back, give me about what? like a what? day or so to- A day or so? <laughs> take my, um, come back, give me about like a day or so. <laughs> to come back and both of them were like a day okay resolve what we had going on you always need a day like that's your Not time a, frame it, no okay no. that's cap cap he'll take a week he will take a week friend i'm telling you right now i i like to take my time take my um uh, come back come back give me about like a day or so to. Give me about like a day or so. You absolutely take a, a day or so every time. A day or so? We got into a little argument right quick because you had put the potato salad on the bottom of the shelf and I want it on the top. And you telling me that got a little heated because y'all do know we argue about stupid shit like that. And nigga, you telling me that you need a whole day about the potato salad? That's not what we're doing. Can't do that at all. Come back and then we can resolve what we had going on. You always need a day? Like that's your not time a, frame? It, no. Okay. No, it can take a it day. It can. Okay. It, at, the, at the most. But you're able to communicate something, I'm very right? You're not a silent I'm treatment type of person? No, okay. not at all. I'm very communicative. You know what I'm saying? But at the day at the most. But I'm very communicative. Okay. I'm very, very communicative. Okay. Yes. Nice. All right. Thank you. Okay. Don't believe it. Yeah. Time to pop some balloons. Oh. <laughs> I am going to have you pop. Listen, I'm one of the ones that need a, uh, not a couple of days. First of all, no. Like to just leave all day and just not talk about it all. No, but I do need a few hours for sure. Two balloons. Jeez. I know. I know. Based off of what you heard, whatever it may be, go ahead and pop those two. Oh. Girl, it ain't that hard. Got to do it. Okay. Okay. Um, and then one more. Okay. Let's start right on over here. Why did we end up popping his? It's really hard. I had to pop my balloon. Um, mm -hmm. Honestly, if I had to say it would just be our, I, I don't want to say it's a physical connection. I just, we're only going off of a few questions right now. So I have to play the game and pop a balloon. Mm -hmm. So yes, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. And so why did you have your balloon unpopped? Uh, just curiosity to get to know the person. Okay. Yeah. But is she someone that's your type? <laughs> um, After five hours, you blocked and the locks changed, don't they? <laughs> I would say yes. Okay. Yeah. What makes her your type? Yeah. Um, I love uh, originality, you know, original <laughs> hair, you know, just just everything. It's not, it's just her, you know what I'm saying? Put together. Okay, thank yeah. you. Perfect. Come on, toes. And let's go to our next guy here. Why do we end up popping his balloon? Okay, I do have a reason why I popped your balloon. And it was because you said... You throw shit. That you have a history of domestic violence. Yes. And that is... It's not okay for me. So I just... 
I had a poppy of a lung for that reason. I understand. I, I mean, I just was being honest, and I, yeah. you know, did state that I'm working on it. And Absolutely. Now, your arm's entirely too big to be out here breaking shit. I can see a chair right now just going past her ear, y'all. Uh, it's not right. Uh, you know, I'm, I have different uh, methods of dealing with situations, but it wasn't, like, physical with a woman. It's just, like, I, I said break general. things. Yeah. But that's still, you know. Yeah. In that range, but uh, you know, I'm learning and growing every day. He don't look how he sound, right? You're I very beautiful, it. and Thank you, you just definitely give off good vibes and Thank got you. direction and know where you're going. And I definitely someone I would be attracted to. Thank you. Talk to, but. Okay. Thank you. It's a time. woman out here that love a lisp. It, it ain't a lot of them, but it's uh. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we do have three balloons left. Go ahead and ask these guys another question. Um, what would you say? <laughs> Antoine Fisher throat ass. <laughs> Yo, Chrissy, get the fuck off my phone, girl. <laughs> what have you guys have identified about yourself? Any characteristics that you would say has made it challenging for you guys to have a successful relationship? Oh, um, I.e. toxic trait. You Ooh. see? Okay. All Let's she want to do is talk about toxic shit. She toxic. Start down there. We always start with him. Let's give him some time. <laughs> she toxic. I'm telling All you right, right now. The answer to her question. My toxic trait is I tend to Trake. move fast. Um, I wear my heart on my sleeve. Um, I'm working on it, though. I'm working on, on being patient uh, and just taking my time. Yeah. Okay. Yep. I appreciate yeah. that honesty. No problem. Okay. No problem. Let's go to our next guy over here. The answer to her question. Sorry, can you ask that question again? Because it seems like it was in two in one. What question. characteristic traits about yourself that okay. you've identified and noticed okay. that you... Yeah, after this, we're going to have to go to another video and do another one because this is what I'm into at this very second. But uh, this whole lineup is pissing me off. Okay? So we're going to have to go to another lineup. Say be a toxic trait to your relationship. Mm, well, for me... um. I joke around a lot in, in my relationship. I, I mean, I'm very, I'm good at that. Sometimes that could be like a defense mechanism for me. So I think uh, that might be like a little, but I do know when to be serious though. So yeah, uh, okay. uh, so, I'm just very like, I'm not really like um, confrontational kind of a person, but I talk towards female and I'm not. Yeah. So it can come off as like dismissive or no, 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 nonchalant? No, no, no. No, I just joke around a lot. Like this hasn't been, um, this hasn't been having a conversation about Let's talk about a sport now. I'm the one that might tease you over that. So yeah. No, yeah. he like to go low. He like to go low. He gonna talk about what you got on. He gonna talk about what you doing. No, he gonna complain about the dishes right after you wash them. Uh, uh. I'm, oh, not, okay. I'm not. I'm that kind of a person. I get so, you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Next guy. Yes. Uh, my name. So, oh, just, yeah. Okay. You can say your name again, but the answer to the question. <laughs> so, my name is Josh. I believe a toxic trait that I have, um, possibly having, just having some difficulty opening up. 11, 11 in the jet. Um, so, that's like something I struggle with. So, I want to know more about you, but um, I've noticed that, you know, people said that I have difficulty opening up. So, okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. All right. You know what time it is. Hi. Time to pop. Okay. How many? One. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna. Okay. All right. So why do we end up popping his balloon? Not that it would ever be an issue, but there, I'm, I'm a Pisces, so my Pisces. entire life revolves around emotions. So sometimes it may be taken the wrong way if you're playing, and I'm really serious. It may come off. Yep. Um, as a misunderstanding and, yep. and of course in that heat of the moment sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to understand that person where you're coming from and mainly more so it's just it it's just going to be the the whole joking matter i guess and i had to pop a balloon so yeah that's, <laughs> that's fine yeah thank you very much and so why did you have your balloon unpopped for her um i was just curious trying to see on um, what she's all about and you do look good by the way so thank yeah you. um i like our, our energy our flow very calm so yeah so yeah yeah cool Thank you. All right, guys, any questions for her? We got one down here. <laughs> okay. 
What is three characteristics that people that people will say about you um, that that stands out? I'm sorry, that didn't sound right. <laughs> no, I understand what you okay, meant. Okay, thank you. Um, I'm very personable. That's okay. one characteristic. With that, I'm I'm a goofball. Mm -hmm. I, I like to play, but don't let me hear that. Um, <laughs> And I would say I'm very thoughtful. That's also another characteristic that people would say about me. Okay. Okay. Cool. Cool. You good? I'm good. He still got a balloon, friend. Okay. <laughs> Uncle, uh, um, what you got for me and all? <laughs> all right. You had some time to think. What's your question? Um, okay. Question. Um, so sexuality is a very big thing for me um exploration are you into that is that too much of a forward question what i hate your questions right now um what does I'm that mean more detail yeah okay i mean just being getting to a place where you're more vulnerable um and i guess i'm open to that you're open to that yes okay um All right. And get into a place where you're more vulnerable. Oh. Okay. I have a question right now. Uh. Um, so, sexuality is a very big thing for me. Um, what does that mean? Sexuality is a really big thing. What does that mean? Um, exploration. Are you into that? Is that too Why much? Why didn't we just say exploration? Sexuality. I just, it, when he said sexuality, it, 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 it posed a question for me. Like, what is your preference? But he may be saying that he liked to do the three-way. Or he's saying he liked to go the man way. With her too. You know what I mean? So before we question right now? Um, I'm going to need a little bit more detail. Okay. I mean, just being, getting to a place where you're more vulnerable. Um, and I guess. I'm open to that. You're open to that? Yes. Okay. Um, all right. Um, okay. All Are right. You so, good? Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, okay. All, all right. right. So. I am lost in the sauce, baby, but, you know, only they will know, y'all. It is time to pop a balloon. Okay. Oh, yes. oh go for it. So, uh, the gym is a very big, big important um, aspect, right, of my life. Um, so, what is your concept? Like, how do you, what do you think about the gym? Constant improvement? What are, your, what are your thoughts on that? Are you into the gym? I work out. I work out. I like to hike. I'm a very active person, so... Um, yeah, I go to the gym. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Time to pop a balloon. Okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> is it me or is she heated by cuz? All right. So why do you end up popping his? Um, I love everything about you. I love that you wear your heart on the sleeve because mm -hmm. I honestly, I do mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. um, I love that you're thoughtful. You take your time with conflict and confrontation. I just feel like as far as a match wise, um, I just wasn't feeling that initial connection. I'm so sorry. Yeah, she hate that fucking shirt. I understand. I understand. Sorry. Respect, respect, respect. Okay. Perfect. Let's head on back. Oh. <laughs> All right, let me bring you on up here. Bring you on up here. So, I know you, you, they you about thought hard for those questions. So I don't know if you have any final questions, but any final questions between either one of you? Um, I don't have any final questions. No. Okay, either. so is it a yes for you for her? It's definitely yes. Ah, is it a yes for you for him? It's a yes. We got a match! Okay. Yes! I'll take this and you guys can go on up. <laughs> oh, that's a sex appeal thing. See, that's sex appeal right there. You guys can go on up. Look how she looked down. <laughs> now, that last little situation... Well, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I know this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.